All, All right, right now, we are kicking it with Kitty on a Tuesday morning. Mm. Yeah, he's at the Natural History Museum. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Wayne and Crystal. Well, you know what? If your thing is celebrating science. I like it. I like it. Touche. Right Touche. You like that? Oh, yeah. You, you see what I did there, right? You see that? <laughs> Sultan of Segway. Thank you so much. Okay. And if your thing is the universe, that's where Monica comes in. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, well, I'm in your world and I'm in your DJ booth. Yeah, yeah. So the big eclipse is happening a year. Next year. Yeah. But you yeah. guys are gearing up right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, it's a big, big event. Solar yeah. eclipses are very rare, so we're amping up for it right now. Because we're going to have one next year, and it won't come back till 2444. Yeah, what a right? fun number to remember. Right. 2444. I don't think I'll be here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to we're gonna adjust the lights. We're going to put Lamont in place. Uh, we're going to turn the lights off, and then you're going to kind of explain a big difference between solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to look look at a solar eclipse first That's, and those are very rare very very rare okay. due to the reason why here I'll pull all right now we some. can all right now oh, there we go there we go so right. right now uh eclipse happens because there's a solar dance uh, uh, galactic dance happening between the sun the moon and uh -huh. the earth a solar eclipse is when the sun and the moon and the earth all line up in space. So it's like the three musketeers, <laughs> boom, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. In a line. Mm -hmm, but gotcha. we don't always get lunar, I mean, solar or lunar eclipses mm -hmm. because the moon's tilt is just, it's tilted just slightly. See. So sometimes the moon doesn't line up directly, but we do get sometimes a solar eclipse so when it does line up. So because the moon doesn't line up directly, that's why it's kind of rare. Yeah, okay, so what we'll so see on the day of, we'll see actually the moon move right in front of the sun. And that's really cool because the moon and the sun, they seem to appear about the same size in the sky. Okay. And that all comes from coincidence. Um, on the Earth, we just happen to see the moon and the sun look the same size because the sun is about 400 times wider than the moon is. Really? But because the sun is also 400 times far away, okay. they, they even up in the sky. So we're actually in a coincidental place to see the, the moon move right in front of the sun. That's good. And so we're in the in Cleveland slash Ohio is in the pathway of the total of the darkest portion. Yeah, right? yeah. It's so just, it's going to be like pitch black. Yeah, yeah. That's so gonna we're going to be in a part called the Umbra, and that's where we get the path of totality. Okay. Only people that are in that path of totality will see a total solar eclipse, okay. and they will see the sun get and blocked out And from we're the in the moon. Umbra. Okay, you're yeah. going to show us the lunar eclipse. The big difference, uh, the lunar eclipse are a bit more frequent. Or, yeah, so the yeah. lunar eclipses, they're a bit more frequent due to, well, now we're talking about the Earth's shadow versus the moon shadow. Mm -hmm. During a solar eclipse, we're looking for the moon shadow. There for the there's lunar there. eclipse, Ooh. we're looking at the Earth's shadow. So right now, you can kind of see there's a nice red hue yeah. from the Earth's shadow. Gotcha. Cur basically, the Earth's shadow is red because one side of the Earth is having a sunset, the other side is having a sunrise. Uh, if you kind of make a pinpoint of where the moon would be, and see we would see that red. light. Yeah, well, that light bounces off the moon. So Coming up in it. April, you guys have some awesome stuff explaining what you're explaining to me, but in a bit yeah. more detail. <laughs> In a little bit more than three minutes. Um, <laughs> so that's April when? Yeah, so right now we have a uh, spring break uh, happening. And yep. for right now, uh, April 7th, 8th, and 9th, that mm -hmm. weekend, we're actually going to be doing a special so uh, solar eclipse uh program here in the planetarium wow. to kind of get everybody amped up because it was a year from the actual solar eclipse. So we want to get everybody ready, make sure everybody's safe and know how to actually view the sun safely and also make it so it's a phenomenon that you might never see again. Because well, yeah, because I don't think 2444, <laughs> none of us are going to be here. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, do some more cool stuff. So yeah, you guys remember you can go to our website and get the link to their website to get all the information about the explanations. It's going to be really cool. I remember last mm -hmm. time uh, Wayne and Christy uh, and Seriously, Todd Meany and I were, were golfing at a golf tournament when they had the partial one. So we're sitting out oh. there and we're golfing and then uh, all of a sudden oh, the entire wow. golf course there just we went. It. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I, I brought you to a super giant star known as the red <laughs> super giant star. Oh. Do you know what happens when stars that are big uh, get to the end of their life? They retire like Wayne Dawson and go to Florida? <laughs> I wish it was that nice. No. Uh, All right, we're gonna go. We're out of time right now, Monica. We're gonna go back to you. <laughs>